Do one of those stupid Facebook things where people are like, uh. Why don't you just Google? Google fun facts. Fun facts about me. My favorite cuisine is <laughs> Asian. Especially. Oh, that's so fun. Chinese takeout. Um, we're sluts for it. The hobby that I can never give up is you video mm. games. Video games. It's not. A, it's not a hobby though. It's what I want to do with my life. So you answer. I'll think about it. Netflix. <laughs> it's not a fucking hobby. <laughs> What's your hobby? I watch television. I do. Okay. Uh, collecting comics. <clears throat> What's your favorite season? Fall. Why? Autumn. Why? Because it's the nicest of them all. Not too hot, not too cold. You can enjoy the outdoors without sweating your mm, ass them, off. Them chimney smells. Mm. S'mores. Bonfires. Uh, okay, yeah, the more you talk about it, the better it gets. Pumpkin patch. Yeah. Except for it rains. That's a good question. Yeah, sure. Uh, I have seen... Ooh, what's the movie you've seen the most times? It's gonna be a it's gonna be a Disney movie or a Nickelodeon movie. Just watch, focus, focus. That I have seen the most times, Moana. No, a movie that you love that you've watched a ton because you love it. Um, Not a movie because our kids obsessed and made us watch Coco for a month and a half. I don't know. I only really watch movies over and over again. And then, yeah, probably Hocus Pocus. Nailed it. What's your favorite movie? My favorite movie. Mm -hmm. Oh, what's your favorite movie? It's the answer to both of these questions. It's The Social Network. I've seen that movie like 12, 13 times. Yeah. Uh, I could watch that movie whenever. I'm a huge nerd. It's about the foundation of Facebook, which sounds boring, but it's not. It's great. Try it. It'll make you happy. And sad. Favorite sports team? St. Louis Cardinals. Cardinals? Fuck yeah. We're doing this because we're sad. Because we don't get to watch baseball this year. Yeah. Dreams. Favorite ice cream flavor? What's my favorite ice cream? Vanilla. You're boring as fuck. Kidding. Fish food is her favorite ice cream. It's a Ben and Jerry's flavor that's full of marshmallow fluff and chocolate chunks. What's and your... caramel. And... Really? I didn't even... Mm -hmm. I made a caramel, so I didn't know this. And it's caramel. It's caramel. What was the fucking... What? Are we gonna fight? You're not even wearing it! Oh my god! Oh, uh, bogus. Um, uh, my favorite ice cream flavor... If you had to... If you... We're at Ted Drew's though, and you couldn't get Ben and Jerry's ice cream. Oh, Jordan. Either strawberry shortcake something or something with brown. Okay. Reese's peanut butter at, t at Ted Drew's. Ice cream, I'm the boring one. Vanilla's the shit. But if I can get something with peanut butter in it. Mm -hmm. uh, non alcoholic drink of. Non-alcoholic drink of choice. Non-alcoholic. For me, it would be unsweetened iced tea. I used to pick on it from being... My Starbucks <laughs> order is... Oh, hold on. A Trenta black iced tea, unsweetened, with light ice, and no water. 
You get more tea for your buck. That's the kind of tea that's made by a woman named Olga. <laughs> Would you like to drink tea? I made it myself. Or water. I used to call her boring, but my favorite non-alcoholic drink is sparkling water. So, I gotta get over that. Uh, my Starbucks drink, though, I've got two. If it's cold, it's a quad venti iced latte with vanilla and hazelnut. Light ice, whole milk. Yeah, quad, yep. And if it's hot right now, it's the grande oatmeal honey latte. That shit is delicious. Hmm. I think we're gonna, this is gonna cause problems. Uh, the thing I find most attractive in a person is, oh, my back, <laughs> my chest cracked. What is it? Oh, um, probably like physical or? The most attractive thing in a person. Um, a smile. Yep. Yeah. That's it, smile. Okay. Well, it's uh, the most attractive, so that's that was good. See, it's weird. Mine's like a mine's not like a specific thing. It's like a whole mood. It's a whole mood. Interesting. You know what that mood you know what it is though. What's my favorite version of you? Sweatpants. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> Sweatpants bay. Mm. Sweatpants bay? Yeah, that's what I said. I <laughs> never said bay before. I mean, I don't say it. It was I said it ironically. You my bae, though. Hey, bae, bae. Yeah. Uh, sweatpants, y'all. If you, it's when you're most comfortable, right? Wake up in the morning, throw your hair in a little whatever. Uh, don't do makeup. You put on your sweatpants and like a loose sweater and walk around the house. I'm gonna hit this before I leave. Brush my teeth with the bottle of Jack. Cause when I leave for the night, I ain't coming back. Mostly listen to blank music. Garbage. <laughs> uh, I can I, take I, anything and make it into a song. Not Maybe not anything, but... Your red, red Starbucks like, cup right now. Nope, you just set yourself up for failure. Red Starbucks cup. I'll fill you up. I'm drinking water. <laughs> Uh, how about the Where jeans we haven't returned for like three weeks? In those jeans. That's the you jeans. You didn't make up a song, you're singing another song. Well, like make up a song or like bust into lyrics. Bust into lyrics? <laughs> Sometimes I don't know, man. I just bust in the lyrics. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know how you can come up with an analogy for everything? Yeah. I fine. can. Put Cuphead. A song. Cuphead. Cuphead? Mm hmm. I know, maybe not everything, but right. like... I'm just making sure you know your limits. I already did it twice. Just making sure you know your limits. What kind of music do you mostly listen to? Listen to, not create with your mouth. Um, <laughs> like the acoustic song on any album. Oh, that's true. Or like the slower song. Genre? What do you find yourself listening to most? Pop right now. No, it really just depends on my mood. It's true. In a good mood? In a good mood. No, uh, not even that. Like, I can be in a good mood and listen to, to <laughs> Cody, but I can be in a good mood and want to listen to Childish Gambino. The album came out. So happy. Uh, I listen mostly to electronic music right now. Uh, a lot of chill hop. A lot of chill hop. That shit's good. If you got iTunes, if you got Apple Music, chill right, sex, sleep. It's a playlist I made. It's got like 935 songs. All chill out. And you can download it to your phone so you don't have to worry about streaming Chill Cow. And I update it pretty frequently. Anyway, I'm cool. I'm bossy. What's your biggest pet peeve? I got so many, though. My biggest pet peeve. Okay, top two. Do you have two? I do. I'll go for it. I don't know mine right now. When somebody creeps at a stoplight when it's red, and then when it turns green, they don't automatically go. Isn't me off. So specific. Oh, the Cardinals make a wish. Oh, where? Ah. My second. Nail biters. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tough. Now I'm up. 
Uh, my two pet peeves. Uh, people who don't organize their shit. Which is weird because I'm super not organizational. <laughs> I was gonna say. Fuck off, dude. Uh, no, but like, uh, I. If you come into my space and like interact with the stuff I like taking care of, and then you leave it worse than I leave it, you can ask. You can. Uh, it's weird, but like, I have like a long history with my brother of like being pissed at him for not putting discs away. <clears throat> Is that organization though, or. People that don't take care of their possessions. There. We'll say that. What? You were acting like I don't take care of my shit. Do I not take care of my shit? I mean, I'm just saying, walk into your office sometimes and it's not the nicest. Okay. I don't know what my pet peeves are, man. I'm a pretty easygoing guy. Assholes. And people that aren't literate but act like they're literate. Sorry, literate might be too much of an insult. People that act smarter than they are. Mm, no one else. Fuck that shit. Mmm, a bugger. Oh, dope, dude. Can you Eat it. Me a tissue? Eat it, homie. Go like this, Charlie. Go. I'll... Okay, go get a tissue. Eat it. No, mommy, put it back on her finger. Stop. Go. Can you go get a tissue? Get a tissue over there. Yep. Alright. Um. Yeah. Yeah. No. Okay. This is motherhood. Let's do two more. I can't stand the sound of birds in the morning when I'm trying to sleep. The fuck? My wife was just like, man, I really hate the sound of birds in the morning. The thing that has woken up people for millennia. That's hey, fine. I feel like it, it's like, it's annoying. It's beautiful, homie. It's not, it's not beautiful. <laughs> mm -mm. My wife's a sociopath. Uh, I can't stand the sound of racism. Mm. Don't fucking know. Um, Let's do this one. What? Number 25. I once made a blank from scratch. Baby. <laughs> I guess we made a baby from scratch. She made it. I the, I was the angel investor. <laughs> Donated some, gave it a quick cash injection. Okay. <laughs> I chose that one. No, that was your fucking fault. Okay, one more. I blank better than most people. You want me to answer for you? And then you answer for me? Uh -huh. That's kind of cool. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You persevere better than most people. Mm, I like that. Yes, that's true. That's true. You He's a soldier. comfort others better than other people do or give advice. Good advice better than other people. Thanks, dude. That's awesome. See, we love each other. Sometimes. Okay. Did you ever did you ever have an imaginary friend? I don't think so. I still have some. Anyway. I'm making a bed. What was your childhood nickname? I still have it. Depending on who you talk to. Mandy. Oh. Or Maimon. I mean, like, nickname that's not based on your name. Scooter? A oh, little scooter? That is very Steroids. <laughs> Steroids. Mm. I got called Sultan for a while. Sultan? Sultan Khalid. Sultan Khalid. Mm-hmm. When I played baseball. Also, I got called Scalbert when I played baseball on a team called the Green Machine. My dad would remember this. Uh... I think because they said I hit like Albert Pujols and played third like Scott Rowland, so they called me Scalbert. Wow. And that was the thing. My friends and I most often talk about blank video games. I have a podcast about it, for real. I talk about video games all the fucking time. <laughs> talk to my friends as much as you talk to your friends. <clears throat> it depends on the friend group. Some it's babies and... Awesome. What do I do if my child is sick? Uh, education and work facts. What's your dream job, boo? I love you, by the way. I love you, too. I love you a lot. I love you a lot. Thanks for doing this with me. Yep. You're the best. Thanks. I do. <laughs> uh, my dream job. I don't know. Animals. Animals. You know. Has that changed? It used to be. 
But then, like, maybe, but, like, I don't want to have to go to the education to have to work with animals. Like, yeah. I hate science. Yeah. I don't get involved with science. <laughs> so, that would never happen, probably. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I really do love animals. Yeah. I just want to be happy in my job, whatever I'm doing. You're happy now. And I'm happy now, so. Yeah, that's pretty dope. Uh, my dream job is a mix of things. Uh, it's in the game industry. It's you know what? No, it's not. It's in the storytelling industry. Uh, no, I've, I've studied creative writing. I've done comics. I've done games. I've done voiceover. I've done journalism. I've done. I love telling stories, and I want to do that for a living. I would love to get paid to tell stories in any way, whether it's reporting a story or I'm working. you're working. Okay, whether it's reporting a story or telling a story. Um, that's it's fictitious. Okay. The achievement I'm most proud of is my family. Yeah. 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 That you? smart little turd. Yeah. Hey, guess what? Yeah. Love you. What's the most romantic thing anyone has done for you? Anytime there's fish food in the freezer. <laughs> Simple. It's the easy thing, man. You're going the wrong way. Uh, ooh, who's your celebrity crush? You gotta Chris pick. Hemsworth. Or Harrison Bateman. I forgot his name. Alright, <laughs> you love him so much. I wanted to say it's all carnal. Like, it's all carnal. She doesn't even care about his name. She just wants your body, boy. Um, you found a nice smile. It's true. Uh, celebrity crush for me. Mm. I think Des Daisy Ridley is cute. I don't even know who that is. Ray, Star Wars. Uh, also, she's in Star Wars, so she's got to be cool. <laughs> Do you believe in aliens? No. No? Not at all? You don't think in the wide maybe. expanse of the universe <clears throat> other species exist that are intelligent? Maybe. But it scares me to... to just think that that's a possibility. Just lay an egg? <laughs> Ooh. It scares me to think that that's a possibility. What's more scary though, that we're alone in this entire universe or that there's someone else out there? I don't think being alone as a human race is scary because there's so many of us. Well, there's... there used to be so many of us after this. What? Come on, dude. Chill. Chill. Oh my God. <laughs> chill. We'll cut that out. No, we won't. Yeah, we won't. Um, I don't know. There's definitely aliens. Sure. And maybe. it's definitely more terrifying to me to think Daddy, that we're alone. Mommy, mommy. Can you imagine if we try to travel the stars hoping to find something and there's nothing ever anywhere? Which it's just us. That sucks. It doesn't suck. There are a lot of people. I just hope there's aliens out there that are better than most of the people that are here. It's probably not very hard. But you believe in humanity. I do believe in humanity. A hundred percent. I'm a I'm a tireless optimist. You will find that out about me. I can believe in anybody and anything but myself. <laughs> this is so true. But we love each other. Um, and whatever Charlie's destroying right now. My box. On my computer. <laughs> <laughs>